Seven things that my Japanese house has. Once you enter the house, 100% percent you're gonna see this kind of area where it's a little bit lower down the actual house where you can take shoes off and get in the house so that you are not gonna get any sand, dirt, all that kind of stuff. A lot of times, doors are sliding doors to save the space. And right here under the stairs is even used to have a storage. Boom. I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom real quick. Sliding door. And this right here, it's got all the bidet and things and then flashing that has both number one, number two sitting on it and everything. And this right here, it's got the sensor so that it flushes automatically. And when it flushes, water comes out from here so that you can wash your hands. And this whole thing is all attached and connected together. This right here with a little screen on it is what you can talk to people who is outside the door. You can record the conversation. You can just look outside just to look at it. You can even change the volume, which is kind of extra. We usually don't have a central heating system, so we get this little thing each room that does both heating and cooling. And this remote has basically everything from setting the timer, changing the temperature, and all that kind of stuff. One thing you never not see in Japanese kitchen is this thing. Oven specifically built for cooking fish. You can put water underneath and you put fish on top and then cooks it right in there. As you can see the fish icon, it's even got multiple setting how you want to cook fish. So that's kind of funny and goofy. There the fish goes. <laughs>